Good morning. Today we're going to Jordan and we've looked it through Abraham Tours. I have no idea what to expect. I haven't done any research really. We just kind of jumped into it. Yep. <laughs> We've arrived in Jarash and it is so huge, almost as big as the old city of Jerusalem and we're so lucky right now because just four days ago they unveiled new statues that they just found of Zeus. This is the second best preserved statue of Zeus in the world, the first being in the Louvre and also a statue of Aphrodite or Aphrodite. And it's just amazing what they found here in this huge Roman city. So well preserved, there's barely anyone here. And I just love seeing these ruins. But tour has wonderfully arranged this. Nice history lesson along the way. Now we get to explore. <laughs> What's your favorite part? I think that the capital city is my favorite so far because I've never seen so many buildings close together geographically. Like it's all over, everywhere you look, it's all around you, all these buildings. And we're in the middle right now in the citadel. Whoa, this is goat cheese, pistachio, honey, noodles. It's 9 p.m. and we've arrived at our Bedouin camp. Everybody's tucking into their meals and it's absolutely beautiful out there. Can't wait to wake up and it's private tenting. Woohoo! Chargers. <laughs> we only have like two hours to charge them. Oh yeah. One of the best things that we've bought on this trip is this double 2.1 amp charger. This thing's last for at least four charges to six charges of our iPhones. Always finds a cat. Good morning. <laughs> Today is the day that we see one of the seven wonders of the world, Petra. I'm so excited to see the treasury. Whew, it's going to be crazy. Our tour group's leading us off here. It's going to be a big day of walking. Chewing on some frankincense. Mm. It's actually a tree sap. I had no idea. I thought it was some sort of precious metal or something. I thought it was a uh, spice or herb. Mm -hmm. So we were just chatting with our guide and asking about, you know, how long he's been doing this and everything. And he's been doing it since uh, 2008 and 2007 when this was. Uh, deemed one of the seven wonders of the world. He, they said that everybody that could speak English in Jordan was rounded up to become guides here. 2011, when the Arab Spring started, he said everybody thought the whole Middle East was on fire and nobody came. So there was absolutely no tourism here and everybody that they had just rallied to get together were out of work. So it's obviously recovered now and people are here and it's a great country. You can see these beautiful facades here and if you look really closely and pay attention to all the little details you can actually start imagining how crisp they would have been when they were at their full might and glory each one a different tomb representing a different family a different person and it's almost like they link together 
like you're in a fancy shopping mall with all the big different signs, all the big different stores, and how they try to differentiate themselves with from each other. And here, in this great natural beauty, you can see how people represented that, but for themselves and for perpetuating their name and their presence that was. Long hikes today, great way to end it. Some local beer on tap, kind of hard to find alcohol here, but that'll do. Six and each one part. One part. Yeah, we got the very fritzy. We found out that the new Star Wars movie is currently filming in the Wadi Rum Desert and they hired 400 Jordanian soldiers to be the stormtroopers. That's so cool. Donate. Bedouin tea. Bedouin whiskey. That's the mm. best. Oik. Thank you so much. Oik. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Here we are in Jordan and specifically in Wadi Ram and those guys they are uh, hospitable people that they uh, hosted us in a perfect way and we enjoyed our time with our friends here and we invite you using this video to visit Jordan my friends and here look at Wadi Ram and everyone is waiting and welcoming you thank you so much Thank you. This concludes a fantastic trip to Jordan. Heading back to Jerusalem now, another border crossing. But what a crazy country, amazing, beautiful sights, just complete hidden gem. And we're definitely going to be coming back here because there's so much to see. The people are so nice, the food is great, and it's just been such a wonderful experience. We're definitely going to do it on our own next time. And uh, with a little bit of planning, hopefully, find some great stuff. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Yeah, they totally saw four people are eating this. That's how big it is. Mm -hmm.